Upgrading the storage in your PC is easier than ever. And in today's video, I'll show you how to install an M.2 SSD in under 10 minutes. Now, before you begin, you wanna make sure that your PC and motherboard support an M.2 SS drive. The easiest way to do this is simply by opening up your PC and looking at the motherboard, or if you have the motherboard model number, you can take a look at the schematics in the manual if you don't wanna open up your computer just yet. Next, you'll wanna purchase an M.2 SSD. There are lots of options on the market, but for today's video, I'll be using the P5000 1TB drive from Fixero with read speeds up to 5000 megabytes a second. I'll post a link to it in the video description, but like I said, you can purchase any SSD to your preference. Next, turn off your PC and unplug all the wires, and then remove the side access cover to your tower so you can get access to your motherboard. Now, always practice safe working standards when working on any computer components by making sure you're grounded and you don't discharge any static onto any electrical components. To make your life a little easier, remove any PCI cards or network cards that might be in your way before installing the M.2 drive to give you the most space to work with. In this case, I have a pretty massive video card in the way, so I'm going to remove this first before installing the M.2 SSD. Now you may notice that your motherboard may have more than one M.2 slot, but the rule of thumb is that you always want to install the SSD in the slot closest to the CPU for the fastest SSD speeds and performance. Now next you want to open up the SSD box and take out your SSD drive that you're going to be installing and inspecting the pins and everything else to making sure everything is okay before you install it. Now you may notice more than just the SSD in the packaging and oftentimes you'll get a heatsink and thermal pads included. Now if your motherboard did not come with that, you can now use these to keep your SSD nice and cool. Now installing the drive is very easy. You'll notice that the pins on the SSD have a small notch in it, so this makes it impossible to install the SSD the wrong way. Line this up correctly with the motherboard at about a 30 degree angle and make sure to snugly push in, but not use too much force. You'll notice that the drive is going to stick out at an angle, but this is completely normal. Next, you want to line up the Phillips head screwdriver that you removed and screw in the SSD. Now it's completely snug and stable. Now, if your SSD came with thermal pads and a heatsink, it's time to install it. Make sure that you remove the plastic film off the silicone thermal pads. This is critical because it will melt in the heat if you don't. Next, install the silicone thermal pad on the SSD and then firmly press the heatsink on top and now you're good to go. This is gonna keep your SSD nice and cool. Now the SSD installation is complete and you can start putting your computer back together. If you removed any components, now's the time to put everything back together and put on the side cover and turn on your PC. Now in order to use your SSD, you'll have to format it. So in the search bar on the bottom, search in disk management. Then click on create and format hard disk partition. Now this window will show you all the hard drives and SSDs installed in your PC. Anything that is black is currently unallocated and needs to be formatted. And in this case, it's the SSD we just installed. Right click and click on simple new volume. Go through all the steps and leave the simple volume size to the default to take advantage of full storage. Next, assign a letter to your drive. It can be any letter that hasn't already been used. Now you want to format the drive as NTFS, allocation unit as default, and the volume label can be anything that you want it to be, and make sure you have quick format selected. Hit next and review all the settings, and then click finish to format the drive. And that's it. You've installed an SSD and it's ready to use. You can even see it in your drive and other devices. And now you're ready to start using it.